8 must haves. So I will be showing what's inside my first aid kit. Alcohol, betadine, cotton, surgical gloves, paper bag, band aids, flashlight or friend light, plasters, scissors, mask, two pieces of triangular bandage, first aid antibiotic treatment, gauze swabs, safety pins, Other medications like biogesic and paracetamol, sterile water, and lastly, elastic bandage. Basic life support or BLS. Let's start off with CPR. What is CPR? CPR stands for cardiopulmonary resuscitation. When will you do CPR? As soon as possible. Because brain cells begin to die after 4 to 6 minutes without oxygen. When you do CPR, you can breathe air into the victim's lungs to provide oxygen into the blood. When you do chest compressions, you move oxygen carrying blood throughout the body. There are three steps to keep in mind before performing a CPR. And that is to first, check area for safety. Survey the scene. See if the scene is safe to do CPR. Number two, check for unresponsiveness. Tap or gently shake the victim. The rescuer shouts, hey, hey, are you okay? If the victim is unconscious, then the rescuers then move on to the third step, call for help. In some emergency, you will not have enough time to call for specific medical advice before administering first aid. But in some situations, you will need to attend to the victim first. To check the pulse, use all fingers. Quick check for normal breathing and do this for no longer than 10 seconds. No pulse, no breathing, then proceed to chest compressions. Keep in mind the middle of your body is perpendicular or straight with the victim's shoulders. Knees should be apart for better balance. Place the heel of your palm in the center of your victim's chest bone between the nipples. Place the other hand over your first hand. Interlace it. Fingers must be raised. Position shoulders over hands, elbows lock, arms straight, and compress down and release pressure smoothly. Push hard at least 2 inches in depth for adults and 1.5 inches in depth using 2 fingers for infants. Push fast at a rate of 100 to 120 BPM. Do this in 5 cycles, 30 compressions and 2 full breaths. Head tilt, chin lift maneuver. If the victim is breathing, place the victim in a recovery position. Maintain open airway while positioning the victim. Next is the Heimlich maneuver. Universal sign for choking, hands clutched to the throat. Stand or kneel behind the person choking. Place one arm around the waist with the fist positioned between the navel and the ribcage. The thumb should be inward. Place the other hand over the fist. Use the outer hand to increase force as you press inward and upward, quickly forcing air out of the victim's lungs. The victim is pregnant or bigger than you, go higher up to the breastbone. <laughs> 